Why Santa Claus Was Late by Abby Phillips Walker Read in English by David Lawrence This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Why Santa Claus Was Late Do you remember the Christmas that Santa Claus was very late? You may not have known the reason for this, so I will tell you. He really started out very early that year, so that all might have their presents on Christmas Day. The first place he stopped was on the roof of a large house, and, taking the big pack from his sleigh, disappeared down the chimney. But no sooner was he out of sight than the queerest little creatures appeared. They came from behind the blinds and jumped to the roof, from under the eaves and out of the water spout. They had on green jackets and red hoods drawn tightly about their little round faces, and their legs and pointed feet were covered with red leggings. They were the goblins in winter dress. They looked through the bags in Santa's sleigh, and one said, Not a thing for us. There weren't any last year, or the year before that, said another. We'll have something this year, said one goblin, hopping on the horns of one of the reindeer. Let us take his sleigh and help ourselves. They scrambled into the sleigh, on the backs of the reindeer, and onto their horns, and with their pointed shoes they poked them, and off they went like the wind into the valley, over the mountains, and then into the woods to the house where the goblins held their meetings. The goblins jumped to the ground and fastened the head reindeer to a tree, and then you should have seen them unload that sleigh. Books flew in one direction, and dolls in another, until the ground was strewn with tops, balls, baby carts, and all sorts of toys. When they came to the oranges and candy, they called out, Here are the good things! And the way they scampered into the house and put them on the table, which they soon filled with all the nice things that Santa had for the children. By and by, the goblins, who were in the house, heard a loud noise. And when they went to the door, a train of toy cars rushed by, filled with goblins, which bumped into a tree, and goblins flew in all directions. Another crowd of goblins was perched on a rocking horse, and others had a picture book, which they were looking at with great interest. Come in and eat the good things before Santa Claus finds us, the goblins in the house called, and everything was dropped, and into the house ran the goblins. They were all seated round the table, and were just tasting the nice things, when a tap was heard on the door, and a fairy entered. Wait, she said, holding up her wand, and every goblin stood up. Do you know, the fairy said to them, that you will cause a great deal of sorrow in the world by taking Santa Claus's sleigh and eating all of the candy and the nuts and other things that you have on the table? Thousands of children are waiting for their Christmas, and you will spoil it unless you put everything back in the sleigh just as you found it, and return it to Santa Claus. You are always boasting that you help to make people happy, and here you are doing the very things that will make thousands unhappy. The goblins looked at each other, and then one said, I think the fairy is right. It isn't Santa who will suffer, it is the children. We never thought of that, said another. We will put everything back, they told the fairy. How they did work, for they had to pick up all the toys they had thrown on the ground, and carry all the fruit and candy and nuts from the table. It was midnight by the time they had finished, and just as they were untying the reindeer, Santa came through the woods. He was all out of breath, for he had been running. He followed the tracks of the reindeer, and that was how he found them. When the goblins saw him, they ran into the house as fast as they could and hid. So that is the trouble, said Santa to himself. They wanted Christmas presents. I'll try next year to make something they will like. My, he said, looking at his watch, I shall be later than ever this year. And he picked up the reins, and off they flew. End of Why Santa Claus Was Late by Abby Phillips Walker